Well, the case of Godwin Obaseki is about to be closed because the witnesses that have been presented are complete. But what is the likely judgment that will be given to him? What exactly are we expecting? What exactly do you perceive is going to likely happen? Because a lot of things have happened. Remember that Ize Iyamu is already in a mess because really he has been disqualified and his running mate also disqualified from the Edo State gubernatorial election. So whatever the judgment will be, even if it's against the governor, it's definitely not going to favor uh, Ize Iyamu. But of course, you know, APC is still in charge in Nigeria. And uh, if uh, for any reason the governor is disqualified, finally, well, it will also affect because APC can actually do it in a way that whatever court cases the uh, APC had, they can always have a way to settle it and ensure that Ize Yamu takes over from, uh, you know, the governor of the state. But really, I believe the people of Edo State and, you know, they trust what they, they really want and what their mandate really is, what they want for themselves. So I expect that they will stand strong for, you know, the governor of the state. But all the same, let us uh, see exactly what is on ground and what are the uh, pending stuffs that would uh, really happen during that judgment. Because now the court and everything is saying that witnesses presented are okay, but what is the likely judgment? More details of this will come to you shortly. But please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get updated anytime we drop a new video. All right, guys. So, guys, without further ado, let us dive right into the report of this very uh, news. As it says, the parties in the alleged certificate for the suit filed before the Federal High Court in Abuja against Edo State Governor Gordon Obaseki will Thursday adopt their final written addresses. The parties are the All Progressive Congress APC, one of its members, Mr. Williams Edobo, Governor Obaseki, the People's Democratic Party PDP, and the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC. The courts are joined till 2 p.m. today for the parties to adopt the final written addresses. Lawyers to the parties agreed on Wednesday to exchange the final written addresses through emails. This followed the completion of the testimony by a former vice chancellor of Igbinedian University, Okada, Edo State Professor Egusa Emmanuel Osagai. Lawyer to Obaseki, Mr. Ken Mozia, announced the closure of the governor's defense, having called three witnesses. Lawyer to the PDP, Razak Isenalume, also said he would not call any witness, but would rest the case of the second defendant on the first defendant's case and rely on evidence from the first defendant's witnesses under cross-examination. Lawyer to the third defendant, the INEC SM, Dan Baba said his client was also not calling any witness. The trial judge, Justice Hamed Mohammed, ordered the closure of the cases of the defendants. Professor Sage has said there is nothing wrong in submitting an incomplete photocopy of a certificate. The professor of comparative politics at the University of Ibadan UI said this would happen if one is constrained from producing a complete copy when needed. He said he would risk submitting an incomplete photocopy of his original certificate if it was difficult for him to make a complete photocopy when he needed to submit same for that purpose. The plaintiffs are contending, among others, that the photocopies of the UI degree certificate attached to the nomination form Obasaki submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, was first because they did not contain the signature of the registrar of the university and the date the certificate was issued. But Obaseki, through the two witnesses he called on Tuesday, explained that the registrar's signature and the dates issued were cut off from the photocopies of the certificate submitted to INEC because the person who made them used a smaller size paper and A4, which was smaller than the size of the original certificate, which is an A5 paper. 
but during cross-examination on Wednesday by the plaintiff's lawyer Aki Olujime's son, Professor Osage said he would not consider as an untrue duplicate of the original when a photocopy does not contain all the features of the original copy. He added that if a photocopy captures portions that would be seen in the original as in the case with Obaseki's certificate, such a photocopy can be regarded as incomplete. Professor Osage, who graduated from the University of Ibado in 1979, the same year with Godwin Obaseki, with a bachelor degree in political science, insisted that he would submit an incomplete photocopy of his certificate for any purpose, knowing that the original would be verified. If I had constraints with a photocopier I was, I was using, and it turned out that all I could get was an incomplete copy of my certificate, I would give those constraints, go ahead to send that incomplete photocopy, knowing that I was still going to be required to submit the original certificate, he said. On whether he would resubmit an incomplete copy if the original would not be demanded. He said, if that is all I could get under the circumstances, I would take the risk. I would take the risk because I know that as it is my certificate, it is subject to verification. Yes, which is very true because there is no place you would submit a photocopy that you would not be requested to bring the original copy for verification. So definitely, he is right for every word that he has said, saying that, you know, photocopy, whether complete or incomplete, there is always a verification process. And definitely, if the original does not tally with the photocopy, then you, it can be termed as forged. But when it is, you know, connected, definitely you cannot say that it is well verified. You cannot say it is, you know, a forged or incomplete uh, document. So, He's very right for saying that, saying, you know, that uh, he could risk anything submitting an incomplete uh, photocopy. But, you know, he has the original. And for everything we do, if you have your original, you are not scared because you know that when you're asked to present such things, you are not afraid because the original would definitely show everything. There's nothing that will be left out, especially the signature, you know, the stamps and everything. Everything will be there, so there's nothing like uh, it's, there's, there won't be any form of discrepancies from what you have already submitted. But I just hope that um, uh, the case would, you know, be finalized just as it is being planned on. So definitely, guys, just keep your fingers crossed. And let's see what the next line of action would be from the judge. So that is it from here, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Whatever you have to say about this, please don't forget to drop it in the comment section. And also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.